tukielekea maeneo ya pwani sasa kwa mara ya kwanza mahakama imezuru eneo ambalo pembe za ndovu zilinaswa mjini Mombasa mwaka 2014 mahakama imefanya kikao chake katika sehemu hiyo na kusikiliza ushahidi waliokuwa OCS wa Makupa kesi hiyo inamhusisha Faisal Muhammad kama mshukiwa mkuu huyu hapa John Juma aliyehudhuria kikao hicho Tarehe mosi Juni mwaka 2014 maafisa wa polisi ilifanya operesheni katika eneo hili ambapo walidai kunasa pembe za ndovu from my estimation that these are over 100 elephants na kwa mara ya kwanza leo mahakama imefanya vikao vyake hapa kubaini tu jinsi operesheni hiyo ilivyotekelezwa huko pitambua akiregeshwa kizimbani kutoa ushahidi wake mawakili wanaomtetea mshukiwa mkuu katika sakata hii Faisal Mohamed wakiibua hoja ya tele kwanza kabisa wakiuliza swali mbona sehemu hii ikaharibiwa ili hali mahakama ilitoa agizo kwamba sehemu hii iweze kulindwa hadi kesi yenyewe ikamilike wanauliza swali la pili ni kwa nini maafisa wa polisi waliokuwa kilinda sehemu hii waliweza kuamriwa kuondoka as we stand here today is it the same scene of crime no yet were there officers on the ground who were removed Yes, I'm not there, understanding that. Yes, there were officers, there were. The, officers yeah. Kadhalika wanaibua swali mbona maafisa wa polisi walishirikiana na wananchi, yani raia kupandisha uh, pembe za ndovu kwenye lori la polisi. Notwithstanding that there were many officers, you still allowed strangers to come into this compound to an area that was uh, meant to be an operational area for police. Hoja za mawakili wanaomwakilisha Faisal Mohamed zikilenga kujenga hoja kwamba pembe zilizonaswa hapa hazikuwa zake. And that's the reason why the so-called watchman is unknown. John Juma, Kate News, Chuda, Kisiwani, Mombasa.